Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Geeta. Today we'll be solving a question from SSC 2019 question paper. A shopkeeper marks his goods at twenty five percent above the cost price. He sells three fourth of the goods at the marked price, and the remaining at forty percent discount on the marked price. His gain or loss percentage is question mark. So from the first sentence, the shopkeeper marks his goods at twenty five percent above the cost price. So from which we know. Mark price AMP is equals twenty five percent more than the cost price, which is twenty five percent of cost price plus cost price. That is twenty five percent more than the cost price. So cost price plus twenty five percent of cost price. So which is equals now mark price equals twenty five percent. So I'll just go step by step. Just twenty five. You can now skip the steps. So twenty five percent of CP plus one CP. So which is equals twenty five by hundred is equals zero point two five CP plus one CP, which is equals one point two five CP. Therefore, we know mark price equals one point two five CP. From the next sentence, he sells three fourth of the goods at the mark price. So with this mark price, he sells three fourth of the goods, which is three by four of the X, which is the total products, three fourth of the goods is sold for this mark price, which is equals three fourth can be written as decimal. So point seven five x times mark price, which is equals. We can substitute the value of mark price here. So point seven five x times mark price is one point two five cost price CP. Substituting the value of MP. Next, from the next sentence, and the remaining at forty percent discount on the mark price. So whatever the mark price we have, so it's given for forty percent discount. So which would be equals to sixty percent of the mark price. So which is sixty percent of mark price, which is equals sixty by hundred is point six times mark price is one point two five CP again and. Quarter of remaining one by four of the goods is sold for this percentage, the sum of which is point six times one point two five cost price. So which is equals one by four is point two five x times. So the final sales can be found by adding three fourth of the product sold and remaining part of product sold. So which is equals point seven five x. Times one point two five CP plus point two five X times point six times one point two five CP. So now taking X as common out and one point two five CP common out, which is X times one point two five CP as common. So the remaining terms is point seven five for the first part of the equation plus point two five times point six. So, which is equals x times one point two five CP times point seven five plus point two five times point six equals point nine. So, x into one point two five CP into point nine is equals one point one two five CP. So, this is the final sales, final value after changing the mark price and discount and everything. Whereas to find gain percentage, it is final value minus initial value. Divided by initial value times hundred. So gain or loss percentage. So final we know it is one point one two five x times y x and c p one. So initial would be would have been so whatever the cost price times x number of products the number of products sold. So which is cost price times x. So substituting those values here, so it becomes final is one point one two five x c p minus initial is x. Times CP divided by X CP times hundred. Therefore, one point one two five minus one, which is equal zero point one two five X CP divided by X CP times hundred. So X CP X CP gets cancelled, which is equals one point one two five into hundred, which is equals twelve point five percentage. Therefore, its gain or loss percentage is gain because final value is more than the initial price. And percentage value is twelve point five. So again, twelve point five percentage is the answer. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments.